cannot wait to get every single one wrong. Literally every single one. Watch it. Liverpool gonna win the league. And then you can blame me for jinxing it. And then you will deactivate social media. I can just tell, I can just tell this is gonna be embarrassing. I can tell I got, I don't know what teams. I got a feeling that I got Watford wrong. I think I got Watford wrong, but I reckon I got some things horribly wrong in this. And I think I got some things close, but I don't know if we got any, anything correct. I think I got three correct teams last year, I'm pretty sure. I think I got Man City, Liverpool and Everton last year. Exactly, like the exact position. I don't think I'll beat that this time because I'm pretty sure I did not have Liverpool winning the league. Um, anyway, we'll watch it right now and see what happens. But this is this is a uh, this is going to be quite funny, probably. By the way, I paused it here because in the background, if you look closely, you can see my plaque outside the Emirates Stadium next to the Henri statue. It says Davidoff Productions, Arsenal fan. Very nice. Cost me fifty quid, and it'll be there forever for the rest of my life. So that's and, and after I'm gone as well. So that's that's pretty damn cool. Anyway, let's actually react to these atrocious predictions. I can tell totally be atrocious. I can just tell. All right, time to sit through this sorcery. Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. So the season is finally here, and as an Arsenal fan, I seriously need sleep. <laughs> this is two decades of lacking sleep. Not been looking forward to it all summer, to be honest, because of the way our last season ended. I was, I was right to not look forward to it. It's been our worst season in decades. And that's no exaggeration. It's been our worst season in a long, long time. So, uh, <laughs> I was right to not look forward to it. <laughs> I was just sick of it. The last month of the season was so bad. Oh, you, you thought that was bad, yeah? You thought that was bad. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait until you see <laughs> the next season, mate. I usually start at the bottom and go to the top. But this time I'm going to start at the top, work my way down. So completing their repeat and winning the league again. Not I sure why to be City. honest. I think they will be fine. They won't be come. So I had Man City winning the league. Um, and I said that it'd be a quite close one. I'm pretty sure I think it's what I'm about to say anyway. Uh, clearly that was wrong. But it'll be more comfortable than last year I feel. Better than the point. And I think they will win the league again. More comfortable than last year. They'll win the league by more than the point. In my opinion, it's not stupid because the previous two seasons, they, they got 198 points. Like, you know how scary that is. They got a century of points. They got 100 points two seasons ago. And then last season, they got 98 points. And on top of that, won two extra trophies. They won the treble. They won a domestic treble with 98 points. And the year before that, they got 100 points. For me to say a team like that would win the league again was not stupid. But obviously... They had a really bad season this this time round, but yeah, I'm just I'm defending myself here. This one ain't stupid, but I'm sure we'll get some stupid ones along the line. Liverpool finished second though for sure. They're the only other team that can win the league this season, but I don't see them doing it. They could have a slow start as well. They've got Community Shield against City to be fair, but still Community Shield. Well, they won the league, so uh, yeah. Again, I don't think it's stupid, but obviously Liverpool proved me wrong, proved a lot of people wrong, and they deservedly won the title. And uh, I guess we should just move on to third. And in December, they go to Qatar for the Club World Cup. And they could well play two games. So go to Qatar, play two games, come back and play the festive fixtures in December and January. So that could affect them. It didn't. <laughs> it didn't affect them, you know. Still not stupid, but yeah, as I, as I already said, let's move on to third. But at the moment, I see City in first. Liverpool in second and Spurs in third. I don't <laughs> oh my god. Hey, hey, look, look, at least this proves I'm not biased, alright? I put our rivals in third in third, alright? Don't ever tell me I'm biased, okay? I put Spurs in third. But seriously, how stupid was that? <laughs> then again, to defend myself, Spurs have been a top four team for quite a few years now and they reached the Champions League final the season before. That's all I'm saying, all right? At the start of the season, predicting them to finish third was not that bad. 
But in terms of how the season actually went, then yeah, it, it looks it looks really bad. But in the start of the season, with context, with the context of what happened the previous seasons, it wasn't too bad a prediction. But um, yeah, I got it wrong. I got it wrong. All right. I'm not trying to say. Uh, n actually, uh, let's move on. All right. Let's 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 move on. So this is where it gets tough. I'm not sure about fourth, to be honest with you. I've got, I've got it written now. I've got written down who's in fourth, but. I'm still not sure who is about it? who to put in fourth. Who is it? So first there's Arsenal, who's my team, obviously. Um, and I want to be biased. But our defense I'm not biased, weak, shut up. Said. And if we don't get a centre-back, then we've got a problem. Even if we sign Tierney, we've still got a problem. So because of that, I think that might hold us back. Um, got a good attack, but we can't keep relying on scoring more goals. Where are you putting us, bro? I mean, With Man United, they might sign Maguire and Dybala, which would improve them. But again, not I'm not sure about them in top four. And then there's Chelsea. Not sure about them in top player, four. But also don't look that bad, to be fair. Not got a great squad, but it's not that bad. They've got some talent. Um, and to be honest, I've got a feeling about them finishing fourth. I've got a feeling about them getting top four, having a good season. So um, they got top because four. Because of that, i got Chelsea in fourth, Arsenal in fifth, Man United in sixth. But again, I'm telling you, I'm not confident about these. I got Chelsea in fourth. That that's correct. I, w I had a good. I had a feeling about Chelsea getting top four, and I was proven right there. So that's nice. But I I had Arsenal in fifth. <laughs> in my defence, we finished fifth last year, so there's my defence. And Man United in sixth. I had Man United in sixth. Oh dear. <laughs> For context, by the way, Tottenham finished in sixth, United finished in third, so that's opposites. Chelsea did finish in fourth. Arsenal are eighth, not in fifth. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, I can't defend myself here for putting United in sixth. And before you say biased, it wasn't a biased decision. All right, it wasn't a biased decision. I just genuinely thought at the time that United would finish below the other five teams. Clearly, I was wrong. Clearly, I was wrong. Yeah, let's let's <laughs> let's just swiftly uh, move on. And no one else breaking into the top six. The big six will stay the top six at the end of the season. It the big six, obviously, being City, Man United, Liverpool, Spurs, Arsenal, and Chelsea. Not in order, obviously, but that's the big six. I said no one would break in. But <laughs> Leicester are fifth and they're in the top six right now and Wolves are above Arsenal. They're not in the top six but they're above Arsenal. So uh Wrong again! Wrong again, please, please. Hopefully I did better towards in towards the bottom of the table. Seventh place we got Everton. I think Everton will do quite well. Everton in seventh. They finished twelfth. Last year I got them exactly right in eighth, I think. Um, I felt they, they've they always had quite a good team and that's good enough to finish in the top half um, and obviously they had Ancelotti come in this season that was before that was after his prediction video but still he came in the point is uh, Ancelotti or not I just had a good feeling about Everton and uh, I was wrong they clearly got some, some more work to do but I see potential in that team um, I think they'll, they'll definitely have a good chance to invest in next season uh, but again, in my defence, in the previous season, Everton were fighting for Europe. They were fighting for Europa League place. They didn't get it, but they were up there trying to get into European places. And they finished eighth, which is all right, I guess. I thought they would do well again, but I was wrong. But Everton are an admirable team. They're one of my favourites, aside from Arsenal in the Premier League. I've always liked Everton. So, uh, yeah, big respect to Everton. Big ups. But... Um, not as good this season in 12th place. Still, I do not think that prediction was stupid. In 8th place, I got Leicester. Leicester in 8th. <laughs> they were 3rd for most of the season. They finished 5th, but still higher than 8th. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I need to say anything. It's I'm, I'm not defending myself in this one. Uh, them finishing in the top 5 could have been predicted, I think. I think that's like it's not something that would have been stupid at the start of the season. Uh, Leicester obviously have won the league in, in the last 
four years. So uh, them finishing higher up again would not have been a surprise. So uh, you can call me stupid for this one for sure. Ninth place Wolves. I got them lower down this season simply because of the Europa League. They could still qualify. Um, okay, interesting reasoning. Obviously the season got, in, got disrupted by COVID. But I had Wolves in ninth. Uh, they finished seventh. A couple of positions above. Uh, obviously, ninth place has five points less than Wolves anyway. Still, um, I don't think that's the worst prediction to have. Um, they were in the Europa League, so therefore their results just weren't going to be as strong because they'd have Thursday nights to worry about. And I think in some ways I was right, but in other ways I was not. But Wolves really like pushed for the top four and top seven later on in the season, after the break, after Europa League wasn't there. I I'm just saying... I'm just saying, like they're still a decent team and I like them, I like the way they came up and really proved themselves, especially last season, uh, but yeah, um, I don't think ninth is a bad prediction for them, not for this season anyway. When I predict next season, I'm pretty sure even now, I'm telling you, I will have Everton and Wolves in the top 10 again. I don't know where, but you'll see it when you see it before the season starts in September. In 10th place, I got what? I see them doing quite well, but also not enough for Europe. Uh, but I think mid-table is probably fair for Watford. In 11th place, I got Crystal Palace. Wait, 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 wait. We'll, we'll get to Palace in a second. Uh, so I was streaming on Twitch the other day, and Harry mentioned in... A guy called Harry that I know. He mentioned in, in the chat on Twitch that I had a team that went down that had in the top 10, and I thought, it's probably Watford. And uh, yes, it's, it, it was Watford. In my defence again... Just like Everton last year, Watford were fighting for a European place. Now they ended up 11th because they slipped away towards the end, but they were up there towards the end of the season trying to get a European place. And so they were looking good. And the fact they didn't finish top 10 was quite unlucky in my opinion. But they were doing fine last season. They were mid-table. They were nowhere even close to getting relegated. They were closer to getting into Europe, into the Europa League. They were doing that well, right? So for me to put them in 10th in, in at the start of this season was not a bad prediction. But obviously they had a terrible season and now my prediction looks really bad, to be honest. But uh, yeah, Wolves got relegated. I mean, sorry, not Wolves. Wolves are, Wolves are 7th. Watford got relegated in 19th place and I put them in 10th. You see, now I look stupid because I got I had them in 10th and they got relegated. But based on last season, it wasn't the worst prediction. That is all I'm telling you. I am not a future... I, I can't tell the future, all right? I can't tell which teams are going to suddenly turn rubbish after being good, okay? Relax. Relax. I'm sure I'll get some right anyway. Palace in 11th. They finished 14th. Sort of mid-table. It's not like right in the middle, but it's sort of mid-table. In my opinion, Crystal Palace finishing 11th was not a bad prediction. Uh, I was free off anyway, uh, but yeah, you know. But I've had him in the bottom half, just a bit higher than they actually did finish, but 11th is, is all right. So I'll take that prediction 100%. What are these eyes? I'm the Undertaker. Um, I, I had a feeling they might struggle to be fair for some reason, but th they did kind of struggle in a lot of games, so I was kind of right about that feeling. I think they'll be fine, honestly. I don't see them struggling, but I also don't see them breaking into the top 10. I just don't see that. Now, I'm That's actually not bad. That's not a bad prediction. You don't see them struggling too much, but I don't see them breaking into the top 10. I guess that's Palace this season. <laughs> they didn't go down. They didn't get top 10. Hey, that's not bad. I'm just saying, that's not bad. I might be underestimating them, but in 12th place, I've got West Ham United. Yeah. West Ham in 12th. Uh, this is not a great prediction, to be honest, even I'll admit that. They finished 16th. Four positions off, but obviously they were close to getting relegated a few weeks ago. And, but then they turned it around. Their win against Chelsea was massive. They got enough points to stay up, and they officially stayed up with one game to go. Um, so yeah, they, despite the fact they only just stayed up, I had them in... <laughs> I had him in 12th, so uh, just, even I don't like that prediction, I'm just like, uh, no, why did I do that? So yeah, let's just, let's move on, <laughs> let's move on. They've not, got, they've not got a bad team, and to be honest, if they finish top 10, 
I would not be surprised. Oh uh, no, shut up, shut up, St you, you, you've ruined it, you, you're ruining it! Where's that guy? video, the guy in the car? You're ruining it! You're ruining it! I have ruined this video, what, what on earth? Why would I say that? 13th place we have Aston Villa, yes. <laughs> also a bad prediction, um, just like West Ham I guess. I had Aston Villa in 13th, uh, 4 positions they finished below in 17th, only just surviving relegation. They. They avoided relegation by one point. Just by one point, they survived. And I had them in 13th in their mid-table. So, uh, yeah, not, not a good prediction. Just like the West Ham one. The other team in Claret and Blue, welcome home. They deserve to be home in the Premier League. That's where they belong. I agree. If I had an ideal Premier League 20, Villa would be in it, 100%. Uh, they're a massive club. They've won a Champions League. They've won a Champions League. I mean, that, that in itself... Shows how big they are. Ideally, I'd want them to stay in the league. Hopefully next season they're better than this season. Because I don't want to see them down there again in a relegation scrap. I just don't want to see that. Southampton in 14. I don't see them struggling. I really don't. I think they'll be fine. They'll just... Mm. Southampton in 14. They finished 11th. They didn't struggle. They actually did pretty well towards the end of the season, actually. And they were two points off the top 10 as well. So, uh, yeah, I would not take that as a good prediction, uh, to be honest. I mean, them finishing there would have been realistic, for sure. I think they've done better than I expected, than many, many, many people expected. But still, not a good prediction, in my opinion. No, I'm not going to defend that one. In 15th, I got Newcastle. They'll survive the drop. I don't think they'll be in danger. They might be, but I don't think uh, they will be at any point. I think they'll just... They'll still, they still won't finish that highly, though. They... Mm. That's, that's not the worst prediction. They finished 13th. At one, po at one point they were in relegation danger, um, but they survived. They got a few results after the return that ensured their safety, I guess. So it's, it's not the worst prediction. Uh, not exactly that spot off, but yeah. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take this one, that's for sure. The relegation battle. Just like the top four, I'm not confident about these, to be honest, but... In the relegation battle, I have got five teams, and just surviving the drop, I've got Burnley in 16, and Sheffield United in 17. Oh, that's the worst one. Nah, I'm sorry, that's the worst one. That's worse than Spurs in third, that's worse than United in sixth. Um, uh, that's, it's definitely worse than, it's worse than anything on, the, on uh, that I had. Sheffield United in a relegation battle in 17th place. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that is so bad. That, that is that is actually so, so bad. They finished ninth, which is lower than I thought they'd finish anyway, considering, I mean, from like, from March, I thought they'd finish like in the top six, possibly. They had a good chance of doing it at ninth now, but they had a good season and they almost got into Europe. They were doing really well. They were close to top four at one point, like they were almost in the Champions League places. So they had a great season, and uh, it could have been even better, but they had a great season. They got some big points against big teams, so um, impressive season for them to come up and do that, just like Wolves last year as well. They're, some impressive uh, teams have come up from the Championship and really proven themselves in the Premier League. But for me to have Sheffield United in relegation battle and finishing 17th, just surviving, oh, that is so stupid. That is so so stupid. I want to slap myself. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if I want to get slapped, I'll ask someone. Um, anyway, yeah, yeah. That is that is awful. I also had Burnley in a relegation scrap as well in 16th, and they finished in the top 10. They finished 10th. Um, yeah. I think the Burnley one could have been possible at the start of the season. That wouldn't have been unrealistic. But uh, clearly, yeah, that was very wrong. Sheffield United, though, that is, that is a big L. I'm sorry, but I can't defend myself at all. Like, I, I can't think of a single defence. I can't even say that they, that they just came up because there's other teams that just came up and did really well, like Wolves, for example. So I can't really bring that up as, as an excuse, to be honest. They were clearly ready for this league, and I had no idea. <laughs> oh, that is uh, shame. Shame. <laughs> I play that Game of Thrones scene, but I, I put it copyrighted. And in 18th place, I've got Bournemouth, which might be a shock to you because 
That's two correct. I got two correct predictions. It's not free like last year. I might get free, you know. There's two more left. Actually, no, I don't think so. I, think... I haven't said Norwich yet. I haven't said Norwich yet. I could get free again. But I got two so far. That's not bad. I'll take it. Bournemouth finished 18th. They finished 18th. Exactly 18th. On goal difference as well. Uh, above 19th, Watford. They finished on the same points. One point behind Aston Villa. But... Yeah, born for 18. That's what I, that's what I predicted. I said they'd go down, and they're going down. So that is the correct predi prediction. They're probably not that bad, but I got them down there. I'm taking a risk, okay? Living they were that bad age. for the most but part. I think there's a chance that Bournemouth can go down. Good luck to Bournemouth, by the way. I'm telling you, there's a in the championship. You see, I wasn't confident about these. That's why, like, I had to think about them for a while, and I'm still not sure, but. Bournemouth going down, it's possible. That's all I'm saying. And it happened. It can happen. <laughs> it, it did happen. Also going down, I'm more sure about these. I'm definitely sure about these. Norwich in 19th. Not the correct position, so I can't take that. But I had them going down, and they went down. They finished 20th, bottom. I had them in 19th and going down. So in a way it was right, but... I'm going by position. In terms of position, I got it wrong. So I got Chelsea and Bournemouth right. I don't think I got... Who have, who have I got in last place? Who have we not mentioned? Let me see, see this. Brighton struggled last season. Oh, oh, that is a major miscalculation there. Brighton in 20th. To be fair, at one point, they looked that, like they might go down. Especially before the break, before the COVID break. When they came back, they were still in danger of going down. So up until March, it wasn't necessarily impossible. Like it was very possible. Up until June, I guess, it was possible that they'd still go down. So not the worst prediction, but based on the last couple months, uh, they did well to stay up. They were on 41 points in 15th place. So I, had them, I had them bottom. So not a good prediction. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I got two correct, exactly correct, and I got a few that were decent, not far off, and a, a few really bad ones. But overall, um, not as bad as I thought, but still pretty bad. Honestly, that Sheffield United one alone makes it terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, that one, even if I got the rest of the table right, that one alone makes it a bad prediction video. I'm sorry, that, that just ruins the whole thing. So yeah, just to confirm, I got Bournemouth, Norwich, Brighton going down. Burnley and Sheffield United just about surviving. Newcastle 15th, Southampton 14th, Villa 13th, West Ham 12th, Palace 11th, Watford 10th, Wolves 9th, Leicester 8th, Everton 7th, United and Ch United and Arsenal sorry missing out on top four. Um, Chelsea in the top four, Tottenham third, City first, Liverpool second. I cannot wait to get every single one wrong, literally every single one. Watch it. Liverpool gonna win the league, and then you can blame me for jinxing it and then you can all deactivate social media that's what happened this is your boy david off please like share subscribe thanks for watching have a good day leave your predictions down below if you want and see ya i am not deactivating i'm not deactivating shut up goodbye Cause I